Hi there, and welcome to Polywog Lagoon. We are on our fourth part of the Lego Movie 2, the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe. Of course, we couldn't help bringing Batman back for a little bit more fun. Yeah, you guys just can't get enough of me, can ya? Well, hey there, amigo. Hey, guys. Queen whenever I want to be. Princess Susan. But we can't forget about Metal Beard, Ice Cream Cone, and Michi either. Are you guys ready to get this video started? Ahoy, mateys, I was born ready. Being the assistant that I am, I thought I would just help out everybody here at Pollywog Lagoon and tell you guys that if you want to, you can subscribe to our channel. All right, story time that is then. Our fourth part of the Lego Movie 2, the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe. Written by Helen Murray. The Formidable. Beware, the formidable Sweet Mayhem's fearsome spaceship has a cell for prisoners and a cannon that shoots exploding heart and star missiles. And just when you think the ship is destroyed, it reassembles again, all by itself. Unfriendly fire. Apocalypse Bird gets rained on by these not-so-cute hearts and stars. Hearts attack. The formidable makes its presence known by playing loud pop music and shooting out exploding heart missiles. Ultra-strong, bulletproof, Armor. Did you know when Emmett first sees the Formidable from afar, he thinks it is a shooting star? Aerodynamic fin for speedy space travel. An extendable blaster cannon. It is super cool looking. Oh yeah, I totally remember that shooting star. It was awesome! Hearts and stars. Hello, love you. I love you more. You are so handsome. Hooray! It's getting cold. Don't be fooled by Sweet Mayhem's adorable looking talking hearts and stars. They smile and say something cute, but then they explode. Keep away from these menacing missiles. Sad Star. Emmett feels sorry for a trap star who says it's cold and in pain, so he sets it free. He does not realize that it is helping trick him into letting Sweet Mayhem break into Batman's fortress. What? Huh? You mean my fortress got broken into? What, what do you mean? Why am I just now hearing of this? Welcome to the Sistar System. Behold the Sistar System. It is made up of 11 planets that circle a blue, watery sun. Representatives from each of the planets gather on the blue sun to meet with the queen of the Sistar System. Did you know? The universal language of the Sistar System is song. Whoa. The gang think the Sistar System looks amazing when they first see it from Sweet Mayhem's spaceship. Well, everyone does, apart from Lucy. Strange beings. All kinds of beings live in the Sistar system, including Duplo aliens, Anthropomorphians, Cutopians, Friendoplites, and Vampiruses. What about Mr. Banana Guy? We've got Chocolate Bar. An alien invader, Mr. Duplo Monster. But we cannot forget about Mr. Banana Dude. No, 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 no. Queen whatever wanna be. Presenting Her Majesty, Queen, whatever wanna be, Empress of the Sistar System. It can be hard to spot this not evil queen because she changes her form all the time, but she is usually the one wearing a crown. Things you need to know about the queen. Number one, most importantly, she is not evil, nasty, or a villain. Two, Lucy is very suspicious of the queen. She talks too much about not being evil. Three, the queen prefers song and dance to simply talking. And four, she has ordered aliens from the deep low planet to collect bricks from Bricksburg for her new space temple. Oh, don't worry. When we collect, we're actually just borrowing. I'm way too nice to take bricks for ever, for forever, ever. Transforming Queen. Queen, whatever I want to be, can transform into anything. She arranges her bricks into any object or animal she wants. She can be a horse, a crown, a train, a dog, a mallet, a butterfly, a scary tentacled monster. Anything is possible. First impressions. The gang mistakenly think that the queen is a beautiful woman named Susan when they meet. They discover that the queen is actually the horse that Susan is riding. Yeah, that's right. I'm Susan. Help me. Did you know the queen transformed into a horse for a meeting with the animal planet? Anthropomorphia. Ice cream cone. Ice cream cone at your service? Queen whatever wannabe's hardworking butler is always by her side. 
His sweet assistant is very polite and professional, unless he gets chocolate sauce spilled on him. Then he just needs to chill. Things you need to know about Ice Cream Cone. One, he introduces the queen to guests and conducts important ceremonies. Two, Ice Cream Cone is always first to alert the queen of any intruders in the Sistar system. Three, he gets nervous if there is an ice cream parlor nearby. And four, Unikitty thinks he is so sweet she could eat him. Oh, you are so cute and sweet and scrummed in the umptiously deliciously. Thank you. That's enough, Unikitty. Uh, I'm gonna run away now. Queen Whatever Wannabe's Castle. Queen Whatever Wannabe reigns over the Sistar system from her majestic castle on the sun. The sun is made up of oceans, and the inventive aliens that live here create clever machines that are powered by water to operate the castle's technology. Splash Landing. You can only visit the castle in a spaceship. Visitors travel down a circular waterfall that parts to reveal a beautiful castle. Did you know? The floor of the castle's throne room has a picture of each of the 11 planets that make up the Sistar system. Throne Room. The queen rules from a large central throne room with her assistant, Ice Cream Cone. She has important meetings here with aliens from other planets. Yeah, I'm just not buying all this hogwash. All her beautiful castle and her beautiful planet, the sun, waterfall, whatever. I don't care. I don't feel right about it. Balthazar. This sparkly vampire runs the Harmonic Transmutation Center where Queen, whatever I want to be, sends new visitors to the Sistar system. Balthazar is in charge of getting visitors to change their attitudes. Things you need to know about Balthazar. 1. There is no need to be scared of him. He is an attractive, non-threatening vampire. 2. He thinks Lucy is a grumple dumpus because she won't change her attitude. 3. Balthazar is an expert in meditation, learning to free the mind of all thoughts. Four, he is a super cool DJ in his spare time. Oh wow, he sounds, he sounds so nice. Really, Michi? Just stop. Oh. This is one Lego character I really want to get my hands on. So cool. Spa day. Namaste, welcome to Harmonic Transmutation Center and Changing Chambers. Are you ready to embark on your transformational journey? Follow these five simple steps. One. Relax with a massage from Zen Bunny. Two, enjoy a glitter scrub to remove dirt and any barnacles. Three, have a sparkle rinse in the jacuzzi. Four, meditate with Balthazar. He will show you how to be in the moment. Five, listen to a very catchy song. This is the very important final step in your transformation. I'm not gonna deny it. Scrubbing off of me barnacles felt good. That is all for today. But come back again really soon so we can finish the rest of this book. Oh yeah, one more thing. In the description box down below, you can find the other parts that we've already done. Okay, now bye-bye for realsies.